the first thing I turn on when I come in my office. An overwhelming sense of power. <laughs> it's an extension of the creative part of my mind. Instant gratification to the, to the kids. I get to think visually, I get to think with sound. I associate it with getting what I want. Stimulus to, 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 to think more deeply and more broadly and, and really more profoundly about a particular subject. Great tool for helping me remain on the Dean's List. We don't use it as a tool. We use the machine more as a weapon. And he's on the bid. Sequa, SQAA, 100 grand. What work for me is very simply making money for the firm and making money for institutions. Uh, that's what we get paid to do here. Uh, our expertise lie here in giving the customers liquidity in a very illiquid market. Give me, give me a first financial stick in the desk. I used to have 10 machines before, literally 10 machines which I would watch. Uh, right now, all you do is have to watch this one screen. Uh, and it takes the place of 10, of 10 machines. Excuse me. Hello. Right now, they're all green on my screen, which tells me by a quick glance the market's going up. So if an institution comes in and wants us to commit a large amount of capital, I know I'm better off buying stocks rather than selling stocks. It takes the place of 10, of 10 machines. We've scaled our whole operation down to this one Macintosh. The guy brought the Mac out to the car. It was, it was almost like, okay, this is it. We are really in business. To us, the Mac is a part of our family. It's, it's very special to us. Because without the Macintosh, we wouldn't be in desktop publishing. We can't afford the, the, you know, the 50,000 Macs set up for the clients to play on, but we can use one Mac Plus to just do quality work and get paid for that. It satisfies me in a way that I think sitting down with a, a yellow pad and a number two pencil uh, did not do. And what the Macintosh does is it allows me to extend the whole process of discovery. We go out and discover fossils like this, which are literally millions of years old, bring them back and, and study them here uh, in our laboratories. But what's astonishing to me and what is most remarkable is once we began analyzing these discoveries with the Macintosh, we gained insights, new discoveries about where they fit on the human family tree that we had never anticipated before. Good. Okay, let's try again. It's the only means for these kids to be in touch with progress on just the most basic level. That's what I like. It's all up here. I hope they feel like I am creative, I can draw, I can program, I can do math. Okay, yeah, click on. But you start punching that little mouse in that screen and, and then you see that little uh, figure running all over the screen and you say, oh my God, this is something. They can be their own role model, they can be their own Batman, they can be their own Superman, their own Wonder Woman. All of a sudden they have accessibility to quick learning skills and their minds are always open to be perceptive and catch things. Yeah, I'm talking about you, BJ. <laughs> They've been catching it, man. They're going to catch it all. And it's better for them to catch it here, where the computers are, than for them to catch it on the street. We on the sailing team had a problem getting the results of our regattas to the sailors immediately after the regatta or soon after. We would have 20 to 30 races a day and a lot of very tired, very angry sailors who wanted to know how they'd done. Me with my Macintosh we, and a spreadsheet, it's easy to get the information in quickly and bring it out in an intelligent, presentable form. It, it made a lot of people happy. I think the Macintosh is the best computer for combining what I've written with other forms of expression, be it spreadsheet, graphs, or graphics. When I get done what I have to get done, it's sort of like you're putting, putting your faithful horse away. My Macintosh is like Trigger. To have a, an, another machine outside of your body that reacts as quickly or more quickly is a stimulus for you yourself. In 10 years, we're going to be the Donald Trumps of the desktop publishing industry. It's a great device for getting done what has to get done, be it sailing team results or a 50-page thesis. I've become very, very dependent upon it. Excuse me. Hello.
I'm a procrastinator. I don't have my stuff down on paper. It would be nice to have a way to get some slides generated by a computer that I don't have a fast turnaround time. I'd like to be able to whomp them out myself and use them in a fairly short order. That's my immediate need. I'm a physician working in a research lab pretty much full time right now, but I'm also trying to write a book chapter, and that's going fairly slowly, mainly because I'm trying to write it out longhand and then give it to a secretary to type. I just need a better way to do it. I'm interested in ways to prevent toxicity in our patients, and I analyze data uh, pretty much by hand or with the aid of a, of a somewhat antiquated uh, machine, the deck mate over here. Um, I'm limited by the capability of the machine, and of course I'm, I'm very limited by my own uh, inability to, uh, to efficiently use computers. I'm Dr. Bruce Silverstein. I've been using Macintosh for years in my work, but a lot of my colleagues still don't. I think I can show them another way of working. I think I can turn them around. To prove that, I've arranged a little experiment. I've ordered Macs for three people, none of whom have ever used one. And I think that in two and a half weeks, they'll change the way they work. You got a computer, George. Holy mackerel. Look at this stuff. This is like, like Christmas. The boxes are big. Open me first. <laughs> open me second. Why did I take it out first? It's because I didn't see this one. It says open me first. Where are the Cracker Jacks? Two CX. So this this is the base on which the monitor yes. sits, right? Right. Fantastic. This is user friendly, isn't it? This is a quick guide to setting up your Macintosh oh. SE30 computer. Even if you've never used a Macintosh before, all you need to do is follow these simple instructions. Connect the power cord. And there it is, so that goes in there. Connecting the keyboard and mouse. Plug one end of the keyboard cable. Okay, the video card's already been installed. Replace the lid on the computer. Turning it on, number one. Press the on-off switch. Noise coming out of the box. Okay, welcome to Macintosh. Okay, in the following sections you will learn basic Macintosh skills so you can finish setting it up. Pointing, clicking, and dragging. Okay, once I've mastered the point. Move the mouse on the table. You'll see that the oh, pointer moves on the screen. Skill two, clicking. That's right. When you point to an object on the screen and press the mouse button, you're clicking that object. Clicking makes something happen. Dragging. I love the terminology. One way of getting things done with a Mac is by moving objects around the screen. By holding the mouse button down as you move the mouse. Good, you have just learned to drag. You'll use dragging in several different ways when you work with the Macintosh. Amazing. It's been sort of, uh, sort of fun. Click on the word and up comes the screen and you can type on it. And I've, uh, I've written a memo and I've written a schedule and I put bold headings up there and kind of flip things around. I know how to cut and copy and paste. Instant gratification. When we set it up uh, the other day, it felt extremely awkward to use the, uh, the mouse. It just didn't feel very natural to move this thing around and to, to click it to, to do everything you wanted it to do. It now is uh, a whole lot easier to do. It seems certainly more natural, and um, it's clearly faster than I've seen other people use on, on PC machines when they want to go in and out of, of different uh, programs or files. My IBM, uh, I have to kind of fiddle the keys and, and learn the language to manipulate what's on the screen. Um, the mouse, the click and point thing, I think is significantly easier. One of the postdoctoral fellows in my lab was getting together a poster for a seminar that we're doing. She needed to present a poster on her research and I was able to use the Mac Paint program to actually draw that out and, and label it very nicely for her. I think nicely, probably not up to speed for a graphics person or somebody who had the computer longer, but it turned out really, really well, I thought. It's been frustrating in terms of um, sometimes getting these 
programs up and getting them to work like I expect them to work. But admittedly, I'm not using the manual. How's your chapter coming? Well, I, I did some typing the other night. I thought I had a lot, and I printed it out, and it's one page. But it's a start, so it's only been three days, right? What surprised me is that I, I've enjoyed uh, the time that I've been spending on it. And even though it's been frustrating, it's been, it's been fun. And I didn't expect to have quite so much fun learning how to, or perhaps not learning how to use it. I don't, what, I, what I didn't expect and I don't want is to, to be one of these people who sits in front of his computer uh, you know, day in and day out. And, and for the first time, I've actually thought maybe this might happen. It's been distracting as all get out. I have uh, actually abandoned some of the things I've been doing because I've been a little bit hooked on on getting to getting to learn to use this thing. I was here till 7:30 one night till my wife called wondering where I was and I'd lost track of time. It's fun. It's really fun. It's like I lose track of time. I look at my watch and suddenly it's 11 o'clock at night. This is my form which I'm very proud of. It took me about it took me less time than you estimated it would take me which was 5 hours. It took me about uh, two hours to do, but I wound up redoing things because I wasn't happy with where they sat on the on the page aesthetically. They look good. Well, thanks. They look good. Thanks. I'm proud of them. I am able to rather than sit and try to think of the best way to say something so that I can write it down correctly the first time. I just go ahead and put whatever I want and edit later. And. I think that's a lot better because then you can move more quickly and your ideas can, can flow out and then you can just go back and think, well, that's not really the best way to say that or move sections of sentences from here to there and, and change things much more quickly. I spent a lot of time fiddling with this group and ungroup business and, and if you ungroup, you can, you can then click on various little parts of your graphic. In other words, I had to build some custom lines because there, there isn't any scientific notation in this particular software. So I had to build some custom lines looking at the standard error of the means. And I could click on just the part of the bar graph that I had to insert these lines. I used the draw format and kind of moved the lines right in, and it worked out great. I'm reluctant to admit it, but yeah, I mean, if I had more time, I would have spent more time doing it. It's, uh, it's becoming fun to learn rather than, uh, than a pain in the ass to learn. When I first came in and got the computer and opened up the boxes, I was fairly fearful that I wouldn't be able to use it and that I was going to make a fool of myself in front of other people because I've seen and tried to use an IBM computer and it's like I can learn how to do one task and not apply it to anything else. And we're going to do slideshow now which is a way of showing everything in order here and let's click that up. It's like previewing your whole lecture which is great. I mean if you have slides out of order you can change the order back. Uh, people are jealous of some of these because I can do you know multicolor slides instantaneously. I must have 4,000 slides for my lectures they're similar to this. They have black backgrounds. They're all done by artists. I waited weeks for them, and none of them were any better than this. Well, I've, ha I've had the computer now for 18 days, and in this time I've been able to create some forms that are useful to me. Uh, I've been able to um, uh, do some slides and to begin using a database. And uh, this is very clearly going to be a tremendous influence on, on my work. Here's that uh, chart that was looking pretty rough the other day. It's looking pretty good now. I've gone back and actually made a title page um, and, and gotten it formatted to look really nice. I can show you in print preview what it looks like. Here's my miniature title page and the text. You can see that the footnotes came out really nicely, I think. I'm reluctantly finding myself more and more enamored by the computer uh, and I'm, I'm trying not to spend too much time with it because I don't want to become like those guys. Um, and I've, I've called a couple of friends that if I ever feel like uh, coming in in the middle of the night to use the computer or coming in on the weekends I can call them and they can talk me down and uh, I won't have to worry about it. If someone took this computer away from me right now, I think I would go out and buy another one. I would make that investment because I think it's wonderful. I can't imagine being without it now.